Well, Mark Rich did not stay unemployed long, did he? <laughs> Try about 72 hours, okay? Remember, coached at Georgia for 15 years, but Bulldogs weren't satisfied, so they canned him. And just three days later, Miami hires him. There are going to be some changes this year for the Hurricanes, but one thing that should stay the same, the consistent play of Brad Kaya. You could say the top two quarterbacks in the country are from the ACC. Of course, talking about Deshaun Watson of Clemson, and that guy you see there, Brad Kaya. Yes, consistency was his name last season, and he should be one of the top picks in next year's NFL draft if he decides to leave early. So having one of the most consistent signal callers doesn't hurt your cause if you're the Miami offense. Stacy Coley returns. Coley should be one of the biggest threats at wide receiver, the biggest game breaker that the Hurricanes have. Brandon Berrios, we'll see if he can stay healthy this time. He was plagued with injuries a year ago. Backfield is talented, led by uh, Joe Yearby. Biggest thing, though, for the Canes last year, despite their talent in the backfield, offensive line stunk when it came to Run blocking. They only averaged 119 yards of running per game, one of the worst in the country. So with three guys coming back on the offensive line, we'll see if Miami can improve this big-time need. Yeah, it's pretty difficult to win a lot of games when you're not getting to the quarterback often. That's right, only 18 sacks last year registered by the Miami defense. But maybe good news is in sight as they have a veteran defensive coordinator coming in this season. So new defensive coordinator Manny Diaz, that's right, the former Mississippi State and Texas D coordinator, knows he has his work cut out for him. But shouldn't have to worry about al Quidi Muhammad. Last year accounted for five of Miami's 18 sacks. We'll see if Chad Thomas can have a nice season at the other defensive end. Linebackers, going to be very young but very talented. Miami did very good in recruiting in this area, getting at least three to uh, come in for spring ball. That helps. Last season, the Hurricanes were not very good against the run. Against the pass, a little bit better. And you can see the two veterans coming back for Miami as far as the secondary. Hey, Mr. Peterson, got room for a beer? No, but I am willing to add on. <laughs> as you can tell on the six-pack of games to consume, Miami's middle part of that schedule is the biggest concern. All those games are in a row, and they're all going to be tough. That includes the matchups against the Seminoles and the Fighting Irish, two teams that just love to run the football, a big Achilles heel of the Miami defense. I do believe Mark Rick was the right coaching hire for Miami, and they'll continue to get terrific skill players. Heck, they already have them now. The concern, though, is offensive and defensive lines. They've got to prove themselves there, and they have to prove themselves during a rugged October. I see Miami winning eight. That's my look at the Hurricanes. See you next time.